did you have just recently? Uh, whatever it is, seven times the amount of morphine that you usually give. It was a, it was a long extended name. It was basically hydromorphine. Right. How do you feel right now? You're floating. I mean, this is a trip. Yeah. I, you know, I just need a couple of these at the house. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> you don't need anything at the house, come on. I just mean what I'm going No, I don't want you to get addicted to, to painkillers like that. It's funny because you usually are against to take like a over-the-counter medicine, but see, this is way higher and you feel great well, it's not about feeling great, it's just <laughs> so how is the pain right now what pain pain, <laughs> what pain? oh was i feeling pain that's, actually, that's funny because i was actually i was halfway into feeling pain when she was administering that stuff and all of a sudden boom not no pain mm. all right you're flying right now Can see your eyes. <laughs> I need this for my weekend eight minutes. <laughs> yes, you will have it for your weekend eight minutes. Can you say I'm a weekend? Can you say? Um, I guess I'm on a huge whatever. Sometimes a morphine hydro trip. My week starts right now. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Ryan here interjecting in because right now as you see, I can't really talk. I have an NG tube up my nose, down my esophagus, into my stomach to basically get out all the uh, blockage fluids that are in my intestines to decompress the intestines to uh, start things going again. It is the most uncomfortable procedure ever and you have to keep that thing in for days. But, just gotta keep on going with it. So, so that little part with me was me in the ER. Now this is me in my room at the hospital. And yeah, beeper's going because I need a new IV and I'm just so uncomfortable. <laughs> Not the best time. But anyway, here I'm again, but there's my wife coming to visit me. I'm giving a thumbs up. So I must be feeling okay. Now that my wife is there. The uh, NG tube, of course, just oh, so severely uncomfortable. I think this was like two or three days in on my stay, and it's really hard to talk, which is why I'm not talking on the video at that moment. And then here's another moment again. And I do not know why I see you see an exposed, exposed shoulder of mine. But I point back to my wife, and she sticks her tongue out at me, or at the camera, but gives a smile. It's always good to know she's there for me at times. I give thumbs up. Everything's okay. So yeah, so went into the hospital for intestinal blockage, although you'll find out... I mean, you'll, you'll hear what's going on by me in a second. So, talk to you all later. I got this in on early Tuesday morning. Very early, like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And it is Saturday morning around 9.30 and has not been taken out yet about to get it taken out because it needs to get out. And my throat's really sore. Fun, fun.
se está escapando. Papi. <laughs> yeah. Turn it off. If you want, go ahead. I don't know. Se ve lindo de aquí, mira. Mira qué lindo. Oh, yes. I'll be able to carry my stuff too. This is my new best friend. <laughs> See, we're what, attached. What's her name? Or what's his name? Um, let me see. Alaris. That's a she or he? <laughs> I have no idea. Does that eat? But yep, I woke up and we were attached. So. Can't go anywhere. No, Sorry. that's okay. Hello, everybody. I don't know if you can see me right there. But anyway, uh, NG tube is out. As you notice, I can smell and everything, and it's great. Um, it's funny. I want one funny thing I want to mention during this whole hospital stay process. Um, I haven't been too happy with the hospital. I'm not going to get into too much detail, but um, one funny thing um, when the NG tube was in my throat and my throat was getting really sore they um, were trying to give me this, they, they called it um, some type of mouthwash, um, like a medical mouthwash or something, or ma magic mouthwash, and all it was is, it had a numbing agent and um, besides the fact the numbing only lasted for like maybe 10 minutes it only got into my mouth couldn't get into the back of my throat where the actual soreness was, and so my mouth was <laughs> felt like I was going to the dentist, but anyway that was hilarious uh, but hopefully I'll be out of here soon um, like I said, I really did not feel that bad at all, I know, I mean, I know I've lost a little bit of weight because I haven't eaten in almost a week I, st I still haven't, they still haven't gotten me on any fluids or anything I don't know what they're waiting for but um, I should be out within a day or two, uh, and it is like, oh, uh, it's crazy. Week starts going into the hospital because I'm sick. Thought I had C. diff. Turns out I had blockage. And it's funny how every consecutive blockage I have, I think it's more and more major. Yet, why is it then? Do I feel better and better, have less and less pain, and I recover faster? I must be doing something right because all they see is uh, the same thing on the x-rays and stuff, the same x-ray, but I'm different, but anyway. That is that, and hopefully I will be out um, when I intro next week, so see you next week.